here. Yeah. Wow, what a day. What a crazy day. Today was our first full day of sailing lessons. Captain Ben arrived at 9.30. That's the captain? That's yeah, the captain. If I knew, I'd have recommended somebody. <laughs> <laughs> and we spent a couple of hours going through the boat, looking it over, talking about safety equipment that we need to have on the boat. We reviewed just protocols and things like that for all safety measures. And then we untied and we started doing maneuvers in tight spaces. So figure eight, 360s, reversing. We are learning how to use reverse under control. We're doing circles in the marina and it's Eileen's turn. And then learning how to steer. Nice. Captain Ben is the best, isn't he? Okay, now she's gonna have to do a figure eight in between this boat and some of the buoys. And then we went out into the open ocean. We only put sail up the main sail. At the main, so that was, you know, you want us to get a feel for that tomorrow and have it be a little less complicated. Tomorrow we're gonna have the jib. God, you really need that jib to point it crazy. We're getting a really good introduction. Yeah. Just like any big day, you know, you have to give yourself a little grace and you have to sleep on it. Looking forward to tomorrow. How oh. many days we have in this? 14. 14. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I want to be on the record this morning for saying that my wife is totally amazing for more reasons than I can even count. Or yeah. my vocal cords are permitted to emit. Yeah. Yes, she says. <laughs> she agrees. Of course she agrees. Yeah. And diesels are generally very reliable. This is actually really well labeled. That's fantastic. Today we spent a few hours working on docking which was great. Let's figure out which line's which. So again, you would forget about that, clean this up first, then get rid of this line. Even if you have tied at the inside, make sure you pass it back. Okay, pass there. And now, I usually have them coiled up, so when I step off the boat, everything's gonna come off neatly. Now our reward is we get to go out, do a little sailing. Brown's at the helm, and I'm really proud of us. We have gained a lot of confidence just in the second day so that's awesome with a successful launch off the dock first thing this morning then we successfully got on a hammerhead dock so we're doing really well excited that we're making progress settings so you can have trips for the day trips oh, for the week cool. for the month is be easing these slightly but you can't just let these open because the boot is they're going to run freely the boot will just slap 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 right. slap from side to right. side and the reason i've come down here to get the jib out and turn you see we've got the whole length of the bay to screw it up in before we run out of water if that makes sense to an port tack so that means the sail's going to be set on the starboard side Because when you're coming off the, off the wind like this, you, the sails need to be out at a greater angle. See your jib side, we're pinching down. You're off the front of the stalls, so you're going a little this way. Today we learn about navigation with Captain Ben. <laughs> A real sharp holder this time. Oh time. yeah, <laughs> look at all this official stuff. It's between no wind and I haven't got that three days later. It wasn't an issue. That's 20, that's two, four, I'm gonna say roughly into there. So that's that's 40, and then I can come back here, lie down on there, that's 40, 50, 53 miles. Very important when we're working on paper charts that everything you do is straight line. Obviously this is north-south, this is east-west. Right. Everything has to be straight. So we want a lap long here. I'm gonna use a straight edge on the back here. That's not a navigation, it's just a boundary, but it helps you level up. And here's where we're going today, Castries. 219 degrees is the direction we need to travel. Very important to know if you're dealing in magnetic or you're dealing in true. Now the next thing we want to know, we want to know how far it is. We are on our way to Castries. We just plotted the trip. Lots of new learning, not only navigation, but pilotage.
Standing by one four. This is the first bit of the runway. On your way out, uh, please call before you, you leave. Okay, uh, copy that. have a point of sale where to go and we just did a little maneuvering around some uh, boats in a tight marina and we had to ask for permission from the airport to come in because our mast is in the way of the uh, airplanes as they land. Permission to leave Castries Harbour over. We're on day three of instruction with Captain Ben so he's letting us take the boat a little bit more than we were the first two days on our own. He's instructing He doesn't less. work as hard. Yeah, yeah, he's still paying him. Yeah. Good gracious. What's Real he doing? Bad. So we're taking the boat more than we have the other two days and that's the whole point of this is for him to do less and for us to do more. This is the airport right here. That's the start of the runway. And that island right there is the place where the planes really start to land. So you can see uh, with a mast as tall as ours, we would definitely screw things up for a plane that was landing. That's the spot on the dock. on the assays here where this triangle is at, at 12 30 and i now need to work out where i am i know i've been traveling at my course over ground was three four five like three four five i'm just keeping like that when i'm doing again big trips if stuff's happened and i need to keep notes on the trip the tracks you can they're quite handy with you at the end of the day you can see where you've been you can follow in and out again and all. all right sweetie what are you doing right now i oh, am that back, that back window to your office I am so. plotting our course to determine if uh, if we manually can match what the GPS is saying as to our current position. Our current position is not moving very fast. And do you like this? Oh, I love this. So tell us why. Totally geeking out. Oh, it's all math. It's so fun. <laughs> oh my gosh. When I was in calculus class and I would do a problem and then I'd go to the back of the book to find out if I got the right answer. And when you have the right answer, it's like the greatest feeling in the world. It's so cool. Now I just need to learn how to use the sextant so that I can add more math to my life. I'm taking GPS points uh, every hour and then marking the chart. 1530, there's our location. So we came from here. So that is the distance that we have gone so far. I'm so jazzed and by this process. Every day can be math day on the water. Math day on the water makes me a happy girl. <laughs> Oh yeah, we got a little uh, extra time during the day. I'm making a salad dressing. I geek out on mathematics. He geeks out on cooking. We're making a vinaigrette with lime as the acid base. Then we have local honey to sweeten things up. For my sweetie. Uh, we're gonna add some lemon pepper, garlic, and oh my gosh, we've got the best. We have this Italian Kirkland olive oil. This is a kitchen with a view, isn't it? It's the Pitons are majestic volcanic spires located on the southwestern coast of St. Lucia. They are a World Heritage Site and one of the main attractions for visitors to the island. The Pitons are featured in many St. Lucian things, like their flag and their beer. Gros Piton, the southernmost Piton, is 2,600 feet high and much easier to climb than his sister, Petit Piton, which is 2,400 feet high. The peaks are located near the town of Soufrère. Are you excited? Where are we, sweetie? At the Pitons! Woo! Let's take a look. I land at the helm. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. Look. 
Look at that. Okay, this is absolutely crazy. Sugar Beach is normally packed with boats. There is not one boat out here right now. Here comes our mooring ball help. Well, cool. Thanks, for your guys. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate it. Enjoy the rest. So this is the first night that we anchor with our boat. With our boat. Well, we're not anchoring, we're mooring. But we're mooring, but so we're not at the marina. And just look at how incredible it is. Just this whole bay. It's like, it's just like a big hug. Just with these beautiful mountains. And then the water right here, although we're close to the shore, is about 1200 feet deep and it's super blue and it's extremely clear which you'll see we'll put the camera underneath the water so you ready to get in yeah <laughs> Hey, love you. What do you smell? Oh, lovely sulfur. Rotten eggs. And what's that from? There's a big old volcano right behind us. Vol we are. We at are the end of it. day four. And we're feeling a whole lot better than we were yeah. at the end of day three, right? We are. So we were going to do a day three recap, but day three was so tough. We chose not to do a recap because it was a bad day it was discouraging well not the whole day well and you know since we've gotten over it but it's like you know first time things happen it always hurts the most so oh, i mean it was overwhelming first and foremost the whole day learning about navigation yeah at the end of the day we came into our dock which is a really tough way to come in because it's uh, the wind's blowing you into it solid concrete solid concrete with no give a, it was a, just a comedy of air a so we came in and it was just out a little too hard yeah. and the bow of the boat slammed up against the dock and just a little bit of scraping on the gel coat our boat's fine but it was just a crazy thing that happened and it's like the first scratch yeah, it's like the gone. first uh thing that happens to your young child it's okay but you overreact it's emotional same thing here uh, so today's been a much, much better, better day. day our homework last night was to plan the navigation here to souffrere uh, into the pitot. So we did that and did a great job. It was right. And then we took off on our route and followed our route all the way here to the pitot. So pretty much from the, all the way to the north to almost the south of the island. These islands are very tall and it takes all day to get from one end to the other. Due to COVID, the beaches are empty and uh, so are the mooring Can you see our faces from there? <laughs> Come with me. So here's the bathroom. The coolest thing is the view outside the window. Check this out. Can you believe it? Just can't even tell you how happy we are. And we're so glad to have you guys watching along with us, experiencing this with us. of day five we didn't actually do a review because we came back from Souffrere, uh, the Pitons, and we had a wonderful, wonderful time there, although we just... That was fantasy. Man. It was amazing. In the morning before we left to come back to Rodney Bay, we took a dinghy trip into the town of Souffrere and walked around. We have not been back to Souffrere in a few years, almost three years now, so it was fun to be back there, but really sad too because yeah. the the 
tourist industry is completely unraveled because there aren't any tourists here. So it's sad to see the destruction, the de just devastation, well, the town, poverty, and and, and also uh, it's very edgy. You just never know when something's gonna break down. But we had a uh, a nice walk around. bought some things from the market. You take you take my photo man? You pay for that? Yeah. <laughs> oh god. You you ought to charge you ought to charge yeah, a yeah, modeling yeah. fee, you're so good looking. Man. How about that guy on the motorcycle that was doing the wheelies? Oh yeah. Oh. And I got to see a crested hummingbird. I was so excited. First one ever. There's really cute yeah they're really um, cute uh, i was just so so ridiculously excited you got to see <laughs> what so you go. so you hummingbird go. oh these tell you um, even though it's a port marker boy, he's telling you to take the starboard channel. Okay, so it's just, you might have a choice of several channels. Also with shapes, so if something like a triangle falls off these, the idea is the colouring still. So, so basically that can be pretty much any vessel from behind. Oh, bye bye pitons! On the way back, I learned some really cool stuff using the compass. The, the, the ideal is we call it the crooked hat, where you draw a line here, here, and, and here, and, and then the three lines will meet somewhere in the middle, and never perfectly, but then in the middle, you're roughly there. We learned three-point reckoning. We use three points that we can see on land, and then we use the compass to determine our location versus what the GPS says. Babe, it was you, awesome. You are a rock star when it comes to that. You bring the math together. I mean, that's the last thing that I want to do is sit there and calculate all this stuff. It just makes my head want to explode. Well, that's good. We, we have different skill sets, right? We have different skill sets. I've been practicing bringing the boat in each time. The Admiral has designated me to do that. Yep, and, and I'm on lines and dock duty, so I'm she's loving that. great communication. We're making, it takes teamwork, doesn't it? Yeah, it really does take teamwork and communication. And so I'm telling more. you, bringing this 44 in and a dock that's totally unforgiving, concrete, metal, and bringing it in with the wind blowing is not easy. I tell you, it is the most intimidating thing that I've ever done. Yeah, but you did. You're doing great. Oh, thank nailed you. Nailed it twice. It's just, it's awesome. Nailed it as in like hit it. And no, it. nailed it with not hitting it. <laughs> Almost hit the other well, side. Well, give me time, sweetie. I'll do it. Give me time. <laughs> anyway, so that's uh, that's the news for today. That's our recap. We really appreciate you watching us. It means so much to us. And we just ask if you haven't already, please subscribe. A lot of you have been sharing our videos yeah, with other thank people, you. and our views have gone up. Thanks for your encouragement. For absolutely, we yeah. appreciate that. Give us a thumbs up, and uh, please comment. We want to hear from you all. Thanks for watching.